greetings and welcome to another episode of Podcast and Chill, the Black Friday edition. I'm Len Muleko and this is the part of the show where we make your business our business. And for us to do that, all you got to do, man, is drop us an email. The address is podcast at thisismegg.com. And you can just, yeah, simply tell us what you do. And uh, you could be sitting right here and uh, telling us exactly what you do. Like, uh, Pazani. Pazani. Yes. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Lynn. Um, Exodus. Yes. Is it Exodus International or do you prefer using it as Exodus Factory? Which one Which one works for you? Exodus Factory. Okay. I uh, just evolved because um, Exodus has gone through a lot. <laughs> so by the time I, I found the right... I had to find the right name for it. Yes. Yeah, at the end of the day, which is Exodus Factory. Okay, cool. Um, you design clothes. Um, you yes. make clothes, actually. We Not manufacture, design. yeah. You, you make, you make. manufacture clothes. Yeah, yes. What kind of clothes and why did you go into this industry specifically? Uh, Exodus Factory is a design and manufacturing company. We design and manufacture for various brands as well. Yeah. Some people bring their own samples, their own designs, and all we do is reproduce them so that they are ready to go to stores. Our customers are fashion designers who bring uh, stuff, maybe if they want sampling or they need pleating because that's what we do. We Actually, we're very good at uh, pleating. Yeah. We're the only company so far around Houting that does pleating. And we specialize pleating, which I'm 100% sure around Africa, we are still the only ones because we're using techniques uh, dating back from the 1960s and this uh, pleating business and belts and co- belts and buttons covering is a generational uh, business which I've also inherited from other people mm. like I'm the third generation to own it yeah so it's just a pre it's a it's a legacy type of a business that I'm running at the moment um, in in questioning like when you question me like about what did you say um I asked. I think I asked about the name, and I asked why specifically going into the space. Oh, I went to the space by default. It, I studied chemical engineering, yeah. but at some stage I found myself without a without job. Then I tried to do various things until I, I ended up in a TV production company. I worked there. They come the productions. You know how they go. They couldn't go further. Yeah. I had to stop. And I focus on Exodus because Exodus was there. But at the beginning, it was there as a brand to make T-shirts. Yeah. Then there used to be YFM. So I was like quite young then. Okay. So yeah. we were making T-shirts for YFM DJs. Ah. Yeah, we wanted we wanted to because there was they had a store yes. to sell them there. Yes. But yes, then yes. the YFM also store closed down, so things didn't work out. I had to go back to work and back and forth and. It was a, it, it was a, a, one of those falling and getting up, falling and getting, getting up, yeah. uh, until I found my, my, my the right footing by doing the manufacturing. After I I, I met a lady um, called Pamela. Pamela so is a Jewish lady from Britain who, who who came to South Africa in 1975. Yeah. So she's the one who showed me how to do the business of clothing. She left, and then I bought her out of that company. I took over the company mm. with the workers, and then I continued with it my own way. I rebranded it. I introduced new clients. I started doing it my own way until it was sustainable until this far. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's that's actually a very interesting story. Um, so far, obviously, you've told me about the ups and downs that you've been going mm-hmm. through to eventually get to where you are right now. Mm. But just in totality, in the space of manufacturing the clothes that you do, um, I just want to find out wh- what have you found to be like some of the difficult spots that you came across or the hurdles that you mm. came across, and also. Um, who are you working with in terms of clientele? Uh, do you distribute in the country or do you go throughout the continent? Do you go worldwide even? Okay. In, in regard with uh, obstacles and challenges, you find that me, uh, it's, you find that customers don't want to, to pay yeah. the amount of time it takes to make a certain clothes simply because they are thinking of how much are they going to sell it for. Because the customer has to buy fabric as well. So I, I, when I give them the price, I have to, to keep in mind that this person purchased fabric, they're still going to sell it. By that time, the margins, 
they can be very small yeah profits can be small that is the, the challenge i even had to let go of some customers because i just when you calculate the, the the time that it takes to produce the the garment by the time it gets out it's eating out of me yeah so i had to sit down and i'm like these are the type of customers i want so at the moment the best uh, one of my best customers i've got is joe bouquet joe bouquet also supplies edgars yeah i've got it's, it's a lot of them are online or a lot of them are on instagram i do for lee bags lee bags uh, it's, it's also online and also on um, um, i forgot another store that they're in yeah and um i've got exodus factories also online we also sell on take a lot because we've got a product called uh, exodus green which we recycle our own pleating and our own material instead of throwing it away yeah. we remake belts and remake scarves and cushions which we we sell on take a lot so that also helps us as to get another stream of income ah. mm. interesting very very interesting so you have a store and you also manufacture mm. and you also manufacture for uh, other companies exactly all right cool so you did mention uh some of the brands that you work with mm-hmm. so if somebody is out there at the shops one day and they see the brand they must just remember like ah patani actually probably made that yes yes, yes there's a lot we yeah. make some of them are just i'm just not really thinking at the moment yeah uh, but with fashion designers we work with them across the, the board Kurt, david Lale, tula cindy all of the fashion designers that you know in South Africa, yeah. they come to us for things like pleating, like pleating as in this, this, can you see my pleat? Like yes, yes, We do yes. this pleat type of pleating, yeah. cover belts for them, but then they take that, uh, whatever, it's like we, we make components, it's like we make components that they go and use to make a finished product. Oh, yes, yes. yes. That is the another side of, of, of this business. Okay, mm. very interesting. So if somebody wants to get hold of you, all the fashion designers out there, or somebody wants to purchase something for a client or whatever, how do they get hold of you? Oh, they can Google Exodus Factory. We're Exodus Factory everywhere on every social media. And they can get hold of the website as well. The email is there. The telephone line is there. So we're very easy to get hold of. We in Durham Fontaine, that's where we, we, we are based. And everything else is you can get hold of us on online okay cool uh exodus you can go to the you can google like she said mm-hmm. and uh, head on to their website www.exodusfactory.com or she said they are in durham fontaine if you want the address it's number 63 c Wright stand-up house second floor new durham fontaine that's in johannesburg or give them a call on 011-402-3033 zero and yeah you can take your clothing and your fashion to another level anyway on that note fatani thank you very much thanks Liam. and uh yeah we'll be keeping in touch and uh just just following your story it's it's quite a very intriguing one yes yes i know <laughs> <laughs> all right on that note i'm out of here uh we'll see you again next week friday for another episode of podcast and show with me g the black friday edition and don't forget if you want to tell us what your business is about it's easy just send us an email the address is podcast at this is and on that note i'll see you on the flip side <laughs>